of the themes that has come through a lot today, obviously, uh, is knowing the audience, knowing the, uh, how to connect with them, the right way to, to, to link into them. And one of the other themes that has come through tremendously, of course, is the move towards mobile. I think there's hardly a speaker up here who has not mentioned mobile. Uh, and we have one, you know, a number of the very exciting uh, instant messaging mobile platforms, Line, WeChat, KakaoTalk. Uh, today, we're very honored to have uh, a representative of Line coming down. They have had, uh, if you look at the top five growing, fastest growing uh, uh, social media platforms in the world right now, four of them are mobile first, including Line. The only non-mobile social media platform that's growing quickly as quickly as in, in the top five that's not mobile first is Pinterest, which is updating their app almost every day now, according to my iPhone. Um, so we're very honored now to have uh, a line here. Um, so I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Ozeki-san, who's the Social Dogovi lead in Tokyo, uh, who will be speaking with Tabata-san from Line. Ozeki-san, welcome. <laughs> It's lovely to be in this country as always. So first of all, I'd like to ask all of you questions. Could you please raise your hands up if you have heard of LINE? Brilliant, okay. Uh, could you put your hands up if you have actually downloaded LINE's app on your smartphone? Okay, about half. And could you keep your hands up if you use it once every month? Mm -hmm once every week and every day? Okay, thank you. So those of you who are not yet so familiar with LINE, LINE is a mobile messaging app from Japan that is emerging in very rapid speed. So if you could see the graph here, it took Facebook five and a half years to reach 100 million users. Twitter, it took them about four years to reach 100 million users. Line, it actually took them only one and a half years to reach 100 million users. And now, Line currently is said to reach 500 million users by the end of this summer 2014. And if you compare this number, with Twitter's uh, monthly active users of 250 million, or Facebook, 1.2 billion. 500 million is pretty a huge number. And also, considering the fact that most of these 500 million users come from Asia, it's quite an important social platform for our market. So today, we have Mr. Shintaro Tabata, who is a senior executive officer and head of corporate sales from Lines Global Headquarters in Tokyo. So please join me in giving a round of applause to welcome Mr. Tabata. Tabata-san, could you update us on LINE's latest size, its landscape, and its global penetration at the moment? So currently, we have more than 400 million users, and the actual number is 430 million users right now. 実はあの、今年の初めに5億ユーザーを突破するというのを目標を掲げたんですけれども、おそらくま、夏から、ま、秋のそんなに寒くならないうちに5億ユーザーいけると思ってます。So our target for this year was to hit 500 million users, but actually we will be hitting this number by end of summer this year. ま、先ほどあの、小関さんからも紹介あったように、LINEは日本初のアプリです。So as the Ozeki-san have introduced you, that line is the first app that went to the overseas from Japan. But actually, 90% of the line users are all from outside of Japan. 
日本以外でも台湾やタイといったところあるいはこのシンガポールも含むような東南アジア一帯の方では非常にユーザーを伸ばしています。So, as for, for example, the countries like Thailand and tai Taiwan, and also in Singapore, a lot of、uh, Southeast Asian users are increasing. まあさらにはインドであったりとかスペイン、あるいはメキシコ、えー、北米、そしてラテンアメリカでも今、まあ、グローバルにですね安いスマートフォンがどんどん普及する流れに乗ってユーザーを増やしています。So、as for India, Spain, Mexico, and also South America, since the very cheap smartphones are increasing, they are also, we are also increasing the number of users in that area. So actually, I saw a lot of hands up、uh, just now when Ozaki san asked you if, whether you are using Line. And actually, 10 billion messages are going through. Daily, all over the world. まあ言い換えますと、1人平均約毎日25通ぐらいのメッセージをやり取りしてまして、これはとてもまあアディクティブというか、中毒的なアプリだと思ってます。そして、アプリジャーフォー、ワンパーソンイズユーザン25メッセージパーデイ、アンイズヴェリアディクティブ、アイエス。So、it's quite interesting to see most of LINE user base come from outside Japan, whereas I've heard that WeChat, they still have about 80% of their user base coming from China. Now, I've heard that、um, LINE has very, two strong competitive edges. One, they are very strong in acquiring new fan base in, in its speed and its power. Two, I hear that it's very strong in driving those users directly to purchase or to store or to the venues. Could you introduce us several case studies、yes. to explain those points? まず紹介したいのは、えー、マクドナルドジャパンのケースです。So first case study I would like to introduce you is the McDonald's Japan. マクドナルドジャパンは去年の6月に、えー、LINE の公式アカウントの方をリリースして、えー、ローンチしています。So last year, McDonald's Japan has released their own app, and last June. だいたい毎日月に1、2回ぐらいクーポンとか新商品の告知のメッセージを送ってます。They have been sending out the messages for,、uh, such as the news for the new menu and some coupons. マクドナルドさんはですね、日本ではモバイルマーケティングに強いことで非常に有名な企業でした。So、McDonald's Japan was previously also very famous for having a lot of mobile users in mobile markets. So, even though we have gone to work with them, they already had 14 million users for mobile McDonald's mail magazine users. So, even though we have gone to work with them, they already had 14 million users for mobile McDonald's mail magazine users. So, even though we have LINE のアカウントもし開けたとしても、ほとんどの LINE の中の友達が既存のユーザーと重なってしまうんじゃないかということでした。So our, we had our been worrying that we might have a similar users since they already had a very large number of users for the mail magazine. しかしこのまあデータがですね、アカウントを開けて3ヶ月経った後の状況についてです。So this is、uh, this number is right after we opened the account、uh, three months ago. 3ヶ月で400万人友達が増えたんですけれども、一番驚くべきはそのうちのオーバーラップ、重なっている部分は半分ぐらいでして、半分今日のユーザーは完全に新しいユーザーとして、LINE だからこそ取れたユーザーだということが分かりました。So we have hit 4 million users、uh, within three months. And what surprising thing we, we found was that half of these users w a s actually the new users. 数年かけて1400万人のメールマガジンのユーザーを積み上げられてきたところにわずか3か月で 15% に相当するような新規のリーチが取れたというところを意味しています。So、actually, McDonald's Japan had taken a long years, a few years to take 14 million users, but actually, Line took only three months to take 4 million users. そしてあのリーチの数だけじゃなくてですね、その中身の話も非常に注目に値すると思っています。So, not only the reach of the new subscribers, we would like want to see the, the age group as well. 既存のマクドナルドさんのメールマガジンのユーザーっていうのは、年齢の分布で見ますと、まあ、実はファーストフードの企業さんなんですけども、30代以上にかなり中心になってたということがまず挙げられます。So, previously, when they were only having the McDonald's mail magazine, the users were mostly from 30s to 40s. ただ、それに比べて、LINE のユーザーはもっとずっと多くのです、ね、10代、20代のユーザーが含まれてまして、まあ、ファーストフードの会社として
もっと将来的に有望な顧客になる若い層を LINE だからこそ取れたというところで非常にご満足をいただいています。So as for line subscribers, they were actually、uh, most of them are from teenagers and the people in twenties, which they are more interested in fast food. そして次に紹介したいのは、えー、コンビニストアとして日本最大の店舗数を持つローソンさんのケースです。So another case study is Lawson, which is the convenience largest convenience store that they have the biggest number of their retail stores. 去年夏の時点のリサーチなんですけれども。ローソンさんはいち早く LINE の公式アカウントを取り入れられた企業でした。そして、1年ちょっとで,です、ね、日本人全体の 10% 近くに相当する1000万人の友達を LINE の中で獲得されています。そして、10% の日本の人たちを獲得されています。月に1回から2回ぐらいですね、その友達に向かって、えー、クーポンであったりとか、新商品のローンチの情報を送っている、えー、おります。So they have updates on this line, official account for about once to twice a month for new menus and new coupons and all these things. で、その結果なんですけれども、実際に50万人の方が、えー、実際に店を、クーポンの、まあ、測定結果によるとなんですけども、訪れているということが分かりました。So actually, 500,000 users of this line official account have actually went to Lawson at the actual stores. So 5%, yeah. it's not an opening rate and it's a conversion rate that actually went to、mm-hmm. the store. And that's used the coupon? Yes. Yeah, that's truly a great number.、Um, I think you also got another case study which、yeah. you've Uh, released last year、mm-hmm. of the,、um, the purchase monthly stickers, was it? Yeah.、Mm-hmm. 次に紹介したいのは、えー、とマストバイと我々呼んでる、あまあ、購買をあの必須にしているステッカーの配布形態になります。So next thing we would like to introduce is must buy, which is a purchase mandatory stickers. 通常のステッカーというのは誰でもがまあ無料でダウンロードできるんですけれども、こちらの場合はまあポッキーさん、グリコのポッキーさんのケースになります。So, as you may know, we have a lot of stickers that you can download for free. But this example is from Pocky from Glico. あの右側に見えるスヌーピーのですね特別なステッカーをもしユーザーがダウンロードゲットしたいと思えば、商品を必ず買わないといけません。So there is an exclusive Snoopy stamps, which you have to buy the Pocky, the actual product. Pocky の箱の裏側に16桁のシリアルコードが、えー、印刷されています。So the system is that you have to look at the box itself to see the 14 serial codes. そしてユーザーはその数字シリアルコードを LINE の中に来て打ち込みます。そしてその人だけがあのスタンプをステッカーをもらえるということになります。And for those who redeem this code would get this very exclusive Snoopy stamp. でそのスタンプステッカーの方はもちろん友達に送ることもできるんですね。Of course you can send the Snoopy stamp to the friends that you have in line. そのステッカーを受け取った人は、見るだけ、受け取るだけなら、そのままできます。しかし、自分もそのスタンプ欲しくなって、そのスタンプをタップして、まあ、ダウンロードしようとすると、マストバイのステッカーの場合は、ダウンロード,ダウンロード先の画面で、このスタンプはマストバイなので、コンビニとかスーパーに行って、商品を買ってくださいという告知が出ます。So, if someone wants to purchase this stamp, when they tap on the, the picture itself, they can go to the download page. But instead of just downloading it directly, it shows that you have to buy this product to go to,、uh, to purchase this exclusive stamp. つまり LINE の中の人間関係を通じて、バイラルで広まりながら、最後は刈り取りとして店頭に人を連れてくる。そ,その広がる拡散の力と、えー、落とし込み、獲得する、売り上げを増やす力、両方持っている商品になります。So it is very effective to increase the actual sale of the product through the friends of the actual accounts. これはまだやり出してから1年ちょっとなんですけども、すでに20社以上の事例が積み上がっています。これはペプシの事例になります。So we have just started this must buy stickers for about a year, but we already have 20 cases. And as you can see on the picture, is the Pepsi Coke. このペプシの場合、あの肩にかかっているあのタグの中にシリアルコードがあの裏側に印刷されてますね
So on this Pepsi bottle, there is a tag that the serial codes are on. So we all know um, that line is very famous for stickers, stamps in Japanese. But um, I'm very keen and interested in the service which you have announced and launched this spring, which is Line Business Connect, yes. that you could connect uh, brands on consumer database directly with Line by using this Line's API, which allows brands to do one-to-one -one communication via Line. So could you talk uh, about a little about that mm -hmm. one? あの、2 we have just launched about Line Business Connect about 2 months ago. これまでの公式アカウントは全員に対して同じメッセージを送るオールアナッシングで送るか送らないかしかできませんでした。So previously our system was whether the official account send a message or not. ビジネスコネクトを通じては一人一人元にメッセージを打ち分けることができるようになります。so through Line Business Connect, they can actually uh, send a different messages to the, uh, according to the users. Business So it will be connect to the business account itself through the API. さまざまな使い方ができると思ってます。ただ今日ちょっとこのそのごく一例を紹介したいと思います。so there are a lot of uh, ways to use this uh, uh, Line Business Connect, but I would like to introduce one example. SMS So this is a very unique way that we have started. Uh, this is not, not just like an SMS or mobile marketing. もしあの皆さんが宅配ピザのチェーンを運用されていると考えてください。So please think that you are owning a delivery pizza company. よく頼むユーザーとLINEを通じてあらかじめ友達になっておきます。So you would become friends through your business line account. そして人気のメニューそちらをすべてあらかじめスタンプステッカー化しておきます。And we you'd make a sticker of the picture of the very popular menus of the pizzas. ユーザーは so what the users can do when they want to eat the pizza, they just press the sticker which that they see the, uh, like for example, like margarita stamp, and they can just order it immediately. つまりですね、スマートフォンがいろんなものの so uh, smartphones can be the remote control for many users, but for this, um, we can make it like a, uh, just ordering immediate services. まあ、我々ピザだけみたいなものじゃなくてですね、今オンラインバンキングであったりとか、オンライントレーディングであったりとか、あとはホテルの予約であったりとか、航空会社のマイレージの仕組みであったりとか、いろんなCRMの仕組
with the existing Facebook or the Twitter ac mm -hmm. accounts that uh, we already have, and what would be a role that we could give to Line, mm -hmm. and how could it work together with our existing mm -hmm. assets? So, 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 you can your users would uh, definitely gonna see the line messages. いついつのメッセージの重みがLINEの方がFacebookやTwitterはるかに重いんですね So uh, the line messages from the official account we, uh, we have actually the data that the, a lot of readers are actually reading it だからあんまりたくさん送りすぎると我々ユーザーさんがめんどくさく思ってしまうということを懸念して公式アカウントのユーザーにはあまりたくさん送らないというようなガイドラインを作ったりもしています so actually, we have that the data that the line users will read these messages. So we are advising the our clients not to use too much messages because uh, the users is going to be lazy to read all the messages. だ例えば、LINEのメッセージはですね、クリスマスのホリデーシーズンの前とかにこのフライデーだとかこの週末だっていうのは一番本当に売上のピークを作りたいな時に狙いを済ましてうつ打つというのが一番向いてる使い方だ